keep your eyes out for Smallfoot in theaters. Hi friends, it's Sasha and today we'll be reading from the new movie Smallfoot, Michi's Top Secret Society, adapted by Maggie Testa and illustrated by Masanori Haas. Let's begin. Hello, we're so glad you could make it to our humble headquarters. I'm Michi, leader of the Smallfoot Evidentiary Society, or SES for short. As you can see from the evidence we've gathered here in this cave, we believe that the legendary Smallfoot creature exists. Are you still with us? Good. Then it's time for you to meet the other members of the group. This is Coca. Coca is our expert on small foot artifacts. I'll let Coca explain. This is the small foot's pelt. This creature must shed its skin. This is the small foot's horn. We believe it only has one. Here is the small foot's scroll of invisible wisdom. This is Gwangi. Gwangi, just like the rest of the SES, disagrees with the village law that says Smallfoot doesn't exist. He also knows why the village leader, the stonekeeper, and my dad thinks that it's dangerous for the Yetis to question the law. It's because questions lead to knowledge, and knowledge is power. This is Flam. Flam always says what he's thinking. He might be little, but everyone in the village knows he's got a big mouth. The small foot's got to be shorter than me, right? And finally, this is our newest member, Migo. Migo never questions anything the stonekeeper told him until one day he saw a small foot with his very own eyes when he told everyone in the village the stonekeeper banished him i just want to prove i saw a small foot so i can get unbanished all of us yetis needed to know the truth it was time for the ses to get some answers. And the only way to do that was to go down into the nothingness below the clouds, which is exactly what Migo did. Poor Migo, it would have been a smooth trip, but my brother, Thorpe, snuck up on us and then Gwangi let go of Migo's rope because he was scared. Thorpe is very loyal to the stonekeeper, so we had to keep what we were doing a secret from him. Luckily for the SES, and especially Migo, he landed without getting hurt, and there in the nothingness below our village, Migo found something, something wonderful, and he brought it back to us. It was a small foot. He is so beautiful. I'm not crazy. I knew it was real. And he's so short. I mean, he's a lot shorter than me. I love it. We brought the small foot to the village. All the Yetis were amazed. They were so curious. How does it think with such a tiny little brain? How does it eat? Can I pet it? Does it do tricks? The small foot opened the Yeti's eyes to the world around them. They started asking questions. It was wonderful. Why is the small foot here? What else is there to know? What does it all mean?
The small foot didn't speak the same language as us, but we did our best to communicate. He told me about his world. It was all so cool. There was so much about Smallfoot that the SES didn't know. But there was one Yeti who didn't welcome the Smallfoot. My dad, the Stonekeeper. He was worried that the Smallfoot was dangerous. So he told the villagers that the Smallfoot was fake and it was just a hairless yak. To make things worse, Migo decided to take the stonekeeper's side. He told everyone that the SES was just a bunch of village weirdos. Can you believe it? Migo betrayed the SES. Gwangi, Flam, Coca, and I were so angry. Migo had been an important member and a friend of the SES. But then, Migo and my dad apologized. They had just wanted to keep the village safe from harm. Deep down, Migo still believed that Smallfoot existed. And like a good friend, I forgave him. Group hug! I love you guys. We've got your back. I am Flam, the brave and selfless. So that's the story of how the SES met its first small foot and achieved our mission, proving the existence of small foot. We should get a Best Yeti Society Ever Award or something. And I have good news for you. The SES is open to new members. So what do you think? Do you want to join us on our next adventure? And that was from the movie Smallfoot, Michi's Top Secret Society. If you like this story, give this video a thumbs up. Now it's sticker time. And today's sticker is You Rock. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I had so much fun. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Please visit me daily to reread this book and to read new books. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.